Well hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going to carry on colouring in uh, Cutie Christmas and we're going to finish off our Santa today. So we've got a few little bits to do. We've got those uh, gloves, bell, buckles. I've got to paint that because I forgot it. Something on his beard. I'm probably not going to do a lot on it. I might just leave it the way it is. I might put a little bit of, uh, I don't know, um, patches, squirrel, just a few little bits. It's not a huge amount to go. So we'll crack on and we're going to do the squirrel first. Oh, that itchy head. Oh dear. You want a little pink for his nose. Just do his nose first, like so. We're using the, uh, as we were last time, the castle art. So, you can just find something to put on. I haven't got anything there. Oh dear me. There's one I had yesterday last time anyway yep yeah, there it is good right so how are we all are we all well we're well here um i haven't posted any videos for a little while because i've been trying to sort out my new laptop because i've got this brand new laptop you see and so i've been trying to uh sort it out and uh put on the things I need so the programs for uh, that I use on eBay uh, the video editor that I use for this so I'll be ed editing this one on the new oops that wasn't good was it uh, laptop would be the first one so we'll see how it goes I'll try and do that tonight so it can go up tomorrow Dear me, it's going to be a good start, isn't it? Yep, it's just going to keep breaking this one. I do find that in some cases these break. It might be my sharpness. I might need to order some more. I don't mind ordering more because these are only a few pounds each. Well, I just, I just like these. That's fine. It doesn't need to be too sharp. So, yeah, we just put it very lightly around there, though that would be normally a whiter colour. Um, yeah, I've been, like I said, sorting out the, the new laptop so I can use it properly and um, yeah, so I'll be editing. This will be the first video that I will have edited on the, the new laptop, so fingers crossed. It's been a weird week, I only work part day Monday. All systems were down today, which is actually yesterday. Um, so they were down on uh, Wednesday, which is when I'm feeling, feeling this. And we're off again on, on Friday, um, mainly because we got uh, we, we booked it off to do Jennifer's room, but we were waiting for somebody to come and do some work in there. And because uh, it needs plastering, but it needs prepping first, so... We're waiting for our friend to come and prep it and then we'll get somebody then he'll get one of his builders to come in and plaster it for us and then we'll do the rest but it's not going to be happening i wanted it done by christmas it just doesn't seem to be happening i mean if i saw him i'd say any any news on when you're going to be able to come up but i haven't seen him for a while so but. He is busy, to be fair. I know a lot of people who are busy, and mechanics very busy as well. I mean, my things with my car, they're very little things, so he just comes up and does them. But if it's a big job, it's uh, actually gonna take a little bit longer than normal because he's just so busy. I think it's people haven't used their cars much over lockdown and now they're back using them, they're getting problems, so. Yeah. There's my squirrel get that uh, uh, painted in and then we'll do his gloves which I missed but Jennifer's fine she's got a new phrase a couple of new phrases now um, I don't like it 
don't like it. That's one of the new ones. And it's practically everything. She doesn't say it at nursery. It's only at home. Don't like it. So everything she used to like, don't like it. Oh, yeah. So she's uh, doing that now. And then the other thing she says a lot is it's a bit. So if you're carrying it, it's a bit high. If it's not very warm, it's a bit cold. Um, if it's, um, what's the other one? Uh, a bit hot, a bit cold, a bit high. Oh, and she likes saying sit down. So we went to the park the other day and uh, with dad, granddad, my dad, and <laughs> As soon as we get there, we go. she wants to go on a swing, so she gets to the swing, we all walk over and she says to Mummy, and point, points at the bench, go, Mummy sit down, or sit down Mummy, she's so funny. So I don't get to push her on the swings, so I have to go and sit down, till she wants me, and then it's Mummy, Mummy, and I'm like, yes dear, what's the matter? I'm not worrying about this little bit that's gone out because I can just do that like that with my finger and it's gone again. There's a lot of water again. I don't know why it's leaking. There's not much water in it. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe when there's a lot of water in there, it holds it in. I'm just gonna take some of the water off. And it's taken off some of the paint, obviously, but I'll put some more back on there. In a second. There we go, that's better. Cool. Quite like that. Yeah. I do like these um, pencils. I'm not liking this water brush at the moment because it's leaking water too much. It does need filling up, it's practically empty. So I'm going to have to go and fill it up. I can't find my pipette. I normally use a pipette and I can't find one. I'll just go and fill it up and I'll be right back. Okay, back now. I've got some more water and I've got some... Uh, I don't know what it was. I've, I don't know. I've got some more water in my, in my brush. So <laughs> I'm just not with it tonight, I tell you. I think I should just go to bed. Terrible. Uh, ugh. Anyway. We're just going to colour in Santa's gloves now. Hopefully uh, that solved the, the problem. I do need to get... I bought a pack of pipettes and I don't know where they are. Primarily for two reasons. One was to uh, use in photography to put the uh, wash in. Um, Ilfotel, uh, which is a... Uh, Called a washing agent um yeah and secondly to fill up the water brushes and yeah i can't find them what i think i might have to do is order some more pipettes but also order some really nice normal fine point uh, brushes this is a nice red isn't that for his gloves what color is it it's vermilion Oops. so yeah, I'm going to have to. You can't even see what I'm doing. I do apologise. Like I said, I'm not with it today. It's like I haven't done any eBay for ages. I've had a big return, which is annoying, but it is what it is. And then I had somebody else saying, oh, there's a mark on this dress. I can't get it out. I've washed it and the hem's come down. So I think they were just hankering for a part refund. But I, email, I messaged them back. I haven't heard anything since and said, look... That's okay. Open a return with eBay, and as soon as I've received the item back, I'll refund you the money. I haven't heard anything since. They still might do it though, so. For the sake of the mark, you can barely see it. She must have got a bloody magnifying glass on it. There, there you go. Anyway, I'm waiting for that to uh, possibly be returned. It would not surprise me at all. So I'll have to wait and see. I'll do these gloves. That I'm going to do his belt, do the gloves, because I need the belt to dry so I can do the, um, the buckle. Of course, I don't know how long this video is now, because, of course, I've had to stop it, so... 
it's not hugely long so I'm not going to worry too much I just want to make sure it's not too wet this brush so that we don't end up with the same issue we had with the uh, Santa hat and the uh, thing that's the only thing that it is you can't control the flow of water like you can with a, a normal brush it's not too bad at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some normal I know people love these and I do like them but I think I'm going to get some normal um, paintbrush as well some good ones because as you can see the water's just not it's just le it's just pouring out water for some reason and I don't know why it shouldn't do I'm not squeezing it you know I've just uh, um, washed off all the excess uh, that's a bit better but uh, yeah anyway we'll see there we go like I said I'm going to do his uh, his belt now so just because obviously I need it to dry so I can do his um, so his gloves look a bit patchy because of the way the water is that's okay you don't look too bad I do like using the watercolours though but I don't think I like these water brushes as much as I used to it's probably me and something I'm doing so but as you can see there's a lot of water on there again and then other times you don't get any water and you're like struggling to get it to lay down That's the belt done anyway, so that's good. And normally, because I've used black, I do squeeze a bit out to make sure it's clean. I know you can't really see much, but we're going to be doing this um, uh, thing here. I'll just find a colour for it. Use primary blue. I can find the sharpener again. I, I'm terrible for putting things down and then not being able to find them. I, I'll, I'll admit that. I am so sorry for being useless today. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. <sighs> Ooh, that's nice. Well, we're getting there slowly. I still want to try pan, half pans of proper watercolours. I though these are proper watercolours, and I love my watercolour pencils. But I do want to try the pans of watercolours. So I have got the Mozarts, which we'll be using uh, in a bit for the bell and the buckles. But I want to get some non-metallics as well, so I can. Uh, see how well I do with those so that's a bit better that's coming up oh that is gorgeous isn't it that's a gorgeous blue oh, yeah, that is lovely At some point I will film the Arteza watercolour pencils video, I haven't done that yet have I? I haven't got to it. Do apologise, there we go. That's really nice. Um, I'm trying to think we'll use a Bengal rose for the uh, stripes. Or, oh, no, that's not a pencil sharpener. There, we'll use that on there I was going to use green and yellow on the other so I'm going to use this one for the spots but I'm not going to do it just yet oh, that's broken as well I'll get all some more sharpness at some point oh yeah it's just crumbling they might got bashed actually when I that's better it's fine now right okay so we're going to use uh, leaf green and then maybe cadmium yellow deep I think yeah, that one's broken as well. I don't think this is the Castle Arts because they were right when I used them the first time. I think A, it's my pencil sharpener. And B, I think it's also the... Um, 
I think I bashed them slightly, so I'm not too worried about that. And again, that's another reason if you use the pans, you don't have to worry about breakage and losing pigment because of the um, lead snapping. But you know, it's just, it's just, I like to try different things out, so. I mean, there are books I haven't tried watercolours in that I I would like to, so you know maybe we'll we'll do that. It's a nice colour, isn't it? I'll be honest, I haven't really been in a Christmas colouring mood. So for all those looking for lots of pictures of Christmas at the end of the year, you will get some. Uh, but I've also been colouring in... Yeah, that's still broken. Let's find a different one. Let's try Opera Rose instead. That one's better. Um, I don't know. I think it's me. I do need... Yeah, this one's all right at the moment. I do need some more sharpness. So. Who knows, eh? <laughs> We're nearly done. We got a little bit of his uh, eyebrows and beards. I'm not really sure how to do that. Because he'd have white and a bit of maybe a bit of grey, but it's mostly white because that's what kind of Santa's hair is. So it wouldn't really have anything, but I might put a little bit of grey and a little bit of white in it, if I can find some. Um, maybe put a little bit of silver in. Okay. Oh yeah, I need the, the yellow. Right. So, they're doing this one. It's probably about 20 minutes, I think, so far. That's a gorgeous colour. This is Cadmium Yellow Deep, and I think it's just beautiful. Show me a look at that. Okay, that's that one. I'll just do this now. And I know what I'm doing for his um, trim, so... Not worried about that. That's already I've decided. So that's that bit. Now we need a little brown. We're going to use yellow. Uh, no, we won't use yellow ochre. We will use um, Van Dyke brown. It's just a little bell trim here, which is going to be fun because it's uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, literally on the. The wet pigment here and I'm not even having to do any water because it's picking up the water it's already on the page as you can see I'll just uh, spread that round a bit like that and just tidy that up a bit like that I put that bit in there and that's done right let's have a look we haven't really got any light greys in here. There's only really one grey, which is a shame. Usually you have tons of greys. So I might do silver. Where's my um, pans? Here we are. Just do a few stripes of silver. So these are the metallics. They are absolutely lovely. I've used them on one picture that we saw last month. Um, and I've only used that colour so far and it's beautiful so I'm going to probably use this sort of colour for the, the bell, this one this for the buckle and maybe put a few stre streaks of that in his um, beard so I'm gonna actually going to turn it like this so I can see it properly and we're going to go for the bell first and we're going to get this sort of bronzy gold and fortunately my squirrel is pretty much dry. I'm going to start at the bottom just simply because it's damp up there and I don't really want to get too much um, too close to the... I, I do love these. These are the Mose Arts. And they are absolutely stunning paints. 
so I want to get that the set they've got I think it's 18 99 and they're half pans uh, and it's still got the some of these colors in not all of them but it's got some of these colors in and it's got um, the sort of normal colors that you would what we would call normal colors so sort of like the normal range of watercolors that you would have so I really really want them to try and use and I will do with them a video when we're colouring uh, one of these books most likely the, the Sarah K one because I like that and we'll do a bit of uh, you know we may have to use um, normal watercolour pencils for flesh but we might not I don't know what's in the thing yet I'm gonna have to experiment with them I think but uh, I do love the way I do love these and you can get it on as thick or as thinly as you want to make it as gold or as pale gold as you want and that's what's nice about it and I'm just trying to even it out a little bit put a little bit more in there but it's such, they are such nice colours they really really are that I am pleased I bought them. These, this set was uh, 9 99 as uh, six colours. Like I said, I've only used two at the moment because, I mean, they're metallic, so it's going to be very sort of here and there as to what you use them for, isn't it? I mean, metallic, so... Obviously, I'm going to squeeze to get the gold out because it's obviously very gold. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a little bit of silver. I'll just put, drop a bit of water on it so that it's actually... Just picking it up, that's it, nice. Now, I've not used the silver, I don't know what it's like, but if it's anything like the rest of them, it's going to be gorgeous. So, I haven't done his bottom lip. I'm just gonna put a few streaks of silver. Very, very pale silver in his, 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 um, his uh, beard and tash and his eyebrows in a minute. Not do much on it down here a bit just to give it that little a little bit of grey I think it looks cute and I will do his bottom lip in a minute because I've missed that we'll do that slightly darker fleshy pink and we just need a little bit of his eyebrows like that hey, that's Santa's thing that I haven't done his buttons I know I should probably do those black now I'm going to do the buckle on his belt. So pretend his beard. I know you didn't really see me do his beard. He hasn't got coloured eyes either. That's something I need to put in a minute. Give him some blue eyes or something. on his shoes like so see I do I really like these paints I think they are stunning like I said I've used them once on one other picture but I will be using them again and again so yeah it's all go really you know just working getting ready for Christmas once I've got the tree up I'll be uh, doing the um, wrapping presents and stuff so that's that right last bit is his lip and his eyes let me just go back here I'll use this deep deep flash again oops upside down just to give it a bit of color there we go and then we just need to do some eyes Give him really nice coloured eyes. Just a little bit of blue. There's one last thing we got to do after we've done this, which you will see in a minute. I know you can't see his eyes because I've got my paints in the way. There we go. It's just a tiny little bit blue in there just to give them a bit of colour. 
that's that bit done. Let's just wipe the blue off the pen brush. So, just pop, I'll put all this away in a minute. Just going to get my last thing, which is in here, and we're going to do the fur trim on his hat and his coat. I'm going to use the Wing Costella on it. This is the clear one because I've lost my white one. The, the white one's downstairs somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it's gone. I took it down to use and then it disappeared. So I'm just going to go over that just to make it all nice and sparkly for... It's just like he's been in the snow. Whoops. I'd love, I do like the Wing Costella. I think they're really great. I've got a green one and I've got a red one as well. And they came white, green and red. I got them last year for Chris, for the Christmas period. Here's this sort of christmas colours. And I think I'll get some more of them. And I haven't bothered, but I'm so going to have to get some more. And the only thing left actually I've missed, I do apologise, is the buttons on his, um, there's probably his hair under there as well, but that's okay. Uh, the hair... Uh, the buttons on his coat, which I will now do. Sorry, I think I keep, keep thinking I hear Jennifer, but it's not, it's somebody outside. Um, Jennifer didn't want to go to bed tonight because she had to sleep in the afternoon. And she cried for about ten minutes and then she went quiet. She's been quiet ever since, so I'm assuming she's fallen asleep. But I don't want to go and disturb her just yet, in case she's awake. I will probably get another one of these because I know it's not going to last long with me doing Christmas because whenever I get something like Santa I always use it on his fur or if they've got a, you can see that like it looks white but it's not it is actually covered with paint I always do that and then I've got red ink on it great so that's all right it'll come out at some point yeah that's better already right so that is that bit I just need to do his buttons. So I'll just get my uh, noir out, my ivory black, and I'll do his buttons. And that'll be it then. Not too long one, not a brilliant video I'll admit because I keep uh, cutting you out of the picture. So I do apologise. Uh, we'll be colouring again soon in something else. I don't know what. I haven't decided yet. Um, got a few Deborah Mullers if you'd like Deborah Muller. Got Johanna's Christmas if you'd like that. I got Kawaii Christmas by Jade Summer, the grayscale book. We could colour in that. And I've also got the cool, uh, Chibi Girls grayscale come in. Chibi Girls Christmas grayscale. Um, so there's always that as well. That's on order. So there we go. We've finished. You want to see our finished product of our Santa? And there he is. I don't know if you yet, you can see a bit of sparkle on him, look, there you go. And you can see his bell shining and that, I think it's really nice. So uh, this isn't as long as normal, it's about 30 minutes I would imagine. I do hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode of Colouring Chat, where we finished cute Christmas picture. And I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below, let me know what you want me to colour in next. And I'll see you soon. Bye everybody. Bye.